In 145, we see the continuation of Neptune, Kemothway, and Triton cleaning up the mess there that Neptune and his winds have created. And so in contrast to above where Kemothway and Triton are doing their part of the work, Ipse, the man himself, Neptune, lifts, and we assume ships, with his trident and then opens up the vast reefs or vast corals and tempers the water. And with his light wheels or light chariot, he glides over the surface of the waves or the, the highest part of the, the waters. And if we go back here, a um, couple things to note. First of all, Ipse, always the main focus of the scene. And so the, you know, the man himself, and so in this case, definitely Neptune. Um, Tridenti, that I can be tricky. It's that ablative singular, that alternate ablative. Uh, Latin students, I think, are always expecting to see that E there. Um, and here it is, an I. And then we got Wastos, Sirtes, agreeing with each other. And then the Icor, the neuter, accusative, looking like that, that nominative. And then you guys can see there's the interlocking word order here, the synchesis in 147, um, with his light wheels or light chariot. Uh, so an ablative of means. I think you might see it glossed as an ablative of manner, but uh, I always prefer to think of tangible things as means and intangibles as manner. So, you know, if he, if he was gliding over the waves with great joy, that'd be manner. But I think this really does explain how, with what, he is paralabatoring the undas. Um, and then I guess maybe it's worth mentioning the, the tour there, the paralabor is the deponent verb, but we're going to translate it actively even though, we look, uh, even though it looks obviously passive.